see uh, how well Eric Bischoff's taking that. He got his head shaved by Mick Foley. I thought we'd have some repercussions tomorrow night on Impact. Who knows? Next up, ladies and gentlemen, at Destination X, it's the first of our five championship bouts. We turn our attention to the females with this knockout title match, and here's the tale of the tape. From the moment that Tara regained possession of the championship, she's been the hunted. Tonight's challenger is among the most unique opponents that she will ever face. Outrageous behavior, physical brutality of Daphne, that's what separates her from the other knockouts. Is her uncontrollable personality a positive or a negative? Tonight, Daphne looks to become knockout champion for the first time. No question, her unpredictability can be an asset. But will she be able to maintain her focus and in the process avoid being disqualified for that wild offensive style? That might be the difference tonight in Destination X. Speak of the zombie hot one. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is for the TNA Knockout Championship. It is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the challenger from Civil, Texas. Daphne, uh, Daphne looks, you know, uh, ravishing on this Sunday evening with her little uh, mini person hat. She has made in Indonesia, I think, by a bunch of Indonesians. You know, the unique style, Indonesians? Yeah. Unique in-ring style, the unique entrance as well of Daphne. Wait, what's so unique about her entrance? She's walking, Mike. We talk about that. Now that's unique. Stick around. She's that little split a rooney uh, split splitish, split splitting. The Foxy Fairskin won herself, screaming. Punctuated by the omnipresent scream. That sound reminds me of my honeymoon. Broken, 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 broken. Her opponent from the state of California, the TNA Knockout Champion, to She poisons in the hand of uh, Karen. Karen, she's not happy. She's got a transfer in her hand, and it looks like she wants to stick it down Daphne's throat. Yeah, striding with purpose down that entrance ramp, and there she puts poison, the tarantula, in the corner, along with that TNA Knockout Championship belt. And, you know, you just can't blame Tara after what she's had to deal with when it comes to these premeditated attacks by Daphne in recent weeks on Impact. Hey, look, let's face it, you know, Tara, very capable champion. She's got a mixed martial arts background. She's a veteran as a, as a you know, female pro wrestler. She's no joke. And that, to me, Taz, is the key to this match. Because on the opposite side, in Daphne, you have, quite honestly, a, a real brawler. And to me, the brawling aspect of Daphne, as we see Terry just step right over and then wow. moonsault right back into the pin for one and two only before the shoulder is immediately driven up there by Daphne. To me, the dictation of the style here. Is she going to be able to dictate the style of the match because of her brawling? We're already seeing. Tara come out here and immediately go on the offense. That leads me to believe that Daphne's gotten into her head. Let me get this right. You asked me a question, then you answered it. Why not? All right, great. Cut to the chase. <laughs> so right now you see Zombie Hot herself, Daphne, just about compressing the spinal cord of Tara. Wow, repeatedly in the corner with both boots driving directly into the back. And now, oh. Wait a minute. There's no yam bag, right? Check it. Hey, you never know. But there we go. We got a cover here. Goes right into the pin oh, attempt for a near fall. Gets two on the champ. Knockout title match at Destination X. And the power game now in effect with the mid ring slam. Yeah, well, you know, look, Daphne is well documented. She's very unorthodox. Look, stepping on, oh, stepping on, on Tara's face. But you know what? Daphne's offense is effective, Mike. Yeah, maybe doubly effective because it alters the style of Tara at the same time as causing the pain and punishment that we're witnessing right here. Well, that's oh, the referee Andrew Thomas. He was kind of afraid, and he's kind of a little bit of a weirdo himself. I heard some stories about him. Really? Anything anyway. you can tell us about? Nope, nope, nope. Well, look, look at the Tara. Which, oh. One, two, three, yeah, tough four, position here because the referee's got to employ the count. Well, that, yeah, that, the move can only stay on for about five seconds, but you can do a lot of damage to someone. You got him hung upside down like that, stretched out. Daphne uses the hair of Tara to bring her oh, back in, God. and then... It's like a snap yeah, you, yeah, right unique version of the snap mare repeatedly. See that, you know, sometimes in women's wrestling, 
couple of chicks with long hair start snapping each other around. It's kind of hot. Challenger on top for another pin attempt. Well, the pasty beauty herself, Daphne, in control of the champion right now. Look at this. Wow, we were talking about the brawling aspects of Daphne, never expecting a move like this that's totally neutralizing yeah. the champion. Yeah, well, see, it looks like what's happening there is Daphne, for a moment, was sitting up, okay, was sitting on the forearms. She still is sitting on the forearms of Kara. She's, I told you she was unorthodox, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. This. Nowhere for the champion Jeez. to go and, and, and she can't strike no. back here. I mean, what's I, what's the chance? Or do you try for an elbow possibly I, I back? Maybe try to elbow on her ribs. I think I saw a movie like this once, Mike. Once? Let's see, Tara, if she, I, I just think if she could take that elbow there and drive it into the ribs of Daphne, when have an opportunity to get out. Oh, like that. Right there, exactly. Oh, that. Oh, man. She's just swinging for the yeah. fences. I don't blame her. She's not even in. She's swinging. Flinging those elbows, doing anything to break the hold. Oh! Round kicks looking good. Yeah, Key was getting back up to that vertical base and then Oof. able to use the kicks. You talked about that MMA training that she's been doing as well. So you're seeing the well-rounded offense of the TNA knockout champion. Well, Tara realizes the threat that is coming for her championship right here live tonight. Oh, that was some shot. Daphne gets back up after each shot. Shot off into the ropes and oh, overpowers her right into the pin. Shoulders down for two and just before Andrew Thomas counts three. You're right, Mike. Overpowers is the key word. I mean, we saw a lot of strength exhibited right there by, by, by the champion. Slap right to the side of the head or the ear by Daphne. Box someone's ears. Tara had the quick reversal, but Daphne answers. Oh, nice. Bridging suplex right into the cover, yeah. right into the pin, and we almost had a new champion. Just about a Northern Lights suplex right there, kind of a version of it. Nice bridge. I don't think she got all of the bridge, Daphne. Well, our audience here, our live audience is split on who oh, they want to win this thing. Challenger crashed in the corner. Up on the shoulders of the champ. Wind her up, slam her down, right into the pin, and no! Starting to sense the frustration with the champion, Tara, even turning to the referee a second time. Well, I, I surprised don't... that she didn't get the three count. Look at that eye rake. Look about put her fingers. Definitely put her fingers in. Oh, man. This might be it. Daphne might get it. cover and. Oh. Oh. Again, last split second as Tara's able to get God. that shoulder roll. Screaming, she's freaking Daphne. She's whacked, man. Well, this would be the specialty of Daphne. Take the champion out to the arena floor. Use something like the steel guardrail as a weapon. Well, it's a good way to soften down the champion. Now, if you can get a cover and maybe capitalize on that, driving her, you know, Tara's back into the steel. Uh, Real, but it doesn't look like Daphne's gonna do that. No, she's gonna take the championship belt instead. Well, she's gonna get disqualified. That's gonna happen to her. No contact made, so no disqualification. Instead, she gets taken up. Oh, oh my God. God! Oh, God. The widow's peak is just nasty. Directly down. Yeah. Pin, leg hook, three count. Here is your winner, and still Tiddy Knockout Champion, two Wasn't easy now that that widow's peak was all it took for Tara to retain her title. See how happy she was. I think Tara realized that Daphne had control of this matchup here. TNA knockout champion around the ringside area celebrating with the fans here at Destination X. Yeah, we've seen this from Tara in the past. Well, she's lost performing for, for the audience, for the TNA fans. I mean, uh, she's a hell of a champion, fighting champion, but let's not take nothing away from the challenge of Daphne had a hell of an outing out here.
Enjoy that spotlight. Yeah, TNA get up, get up. Knockout Champion Terra. She look where she. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at this. Daphne has taken poison. The tarantula oh. of the TNA Knockout Champion Terra. Well, looks like Daphne's got herself a little Sunday evening snack.